If I have any claim to fame, I suppose it would be nobody's collected more Manson anything than I have. I've collected so much stuff on this subject. They say people like John Ansnells, and, and he has a lot of stuff, but I have more than him. So if my claim to fame would be anything, I'm a good collector. And secondly, if my other claim to fame would be anything, is I was able to ask Charles Manson a lot of questions for a lot of years. I'm thankful that I was able to ask Manson a lot of questions over a lot of years, and a lot of times he would answer me. I mean, most of the time he would answer me. And a lot of those times he would put it on either paper or he would put it in a conversation over the telephone where I could actually record it. And that's, that's a blessing to me because now I can look back on it and I can also show you proof of, you know, what we were talking about at the time. And it hasn't, it's, this isn't brand new where it's come up before where I've told Charlie that I don't believe some of the people that are in his life. They just tell a bunch of lies. They make, they make it beneficial for themselves and they try to cash in on Charlie Manson. That's the ultimate goal, the ultimate motive of half these people that come, more than half of them that come into his life. Well, we got into that subject before and, and this was his response. You don't need to believe a word he says to learn. And he would tell you everything. And when he runs out of say, he makes up more lies. Learn them also. So basically, if you sit there and lie to Manson, he wouldn't lead on that he even knew about it. He would act just like, wow, okay, that must be true. But no. That wasn't the message that he was giving me here. It was, you know, learn from them lies that they're telling you. Learn more about these people and what they're trying to tell you from the lies that they're telling you. So if they're telling you that they're the Queen of England, what led them on to even lead up to that lie in the first place? What was the motive behind that lie? And then he would go on to say, Up here on the top, it's upside down. He wrote it in little, little words, and it's upside down from the other print. And that says, I'm not saying be an ally. Look at all open, which makes a lot of sense. It's like immediately don't jump into it and say, hey, this person's a liar, which I try not to do. I try to really rationalize and think it out a long period of time before I would even come to a conclusion like that. And then he goes on to say, if you find thought in the circle you don't like, and you take up thought to destroy the circle and become God, the circle will reflect you. And you will end and not be in the circle. But if you accept all within the circle and flow with God, for it's all true. Even lie tells you something. I don't like it, but I deal with it. That's a thought from Manson.